Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from Dranhard Productions here and JD Carr and Bus Productions. And as you can see, I'm outside here. This is another episode of Stormscapes. This is episode uh, 285 of uh, Stormscapes. And as you can see, I'm outside here. It's very windy, cloudy right now. As you can see, um, 64 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees uh, Celsius out here. Very windy, as you can hear. Also, I have some uh, pink flowers growing on the bushes here. Very pretty. Um, so I know, first off, um, before I even get started by saying anything, um, I know I haven't really been posting any videos the past two weeks. I've been kind of dead on both of my channels, this channel and GD Car and Bus Suctions, mainly because I got sick. So I've been kind of trying to recover and stuff because I got sick. Um, and also just in general, just some more personal stuff going on in my life, in my life as well. Um, so that's why, um, but hopefully I can be able to film more and, uh, post more. So, soon. So, yeah, so that's mainly why I haven't been posting. I mainly just been sick and just trying to still recover. I still am sick, but I've gotten better. So, Yeah. So, again, 64 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. It's going to get up about 73 today. I know it's cloudy right now. The sun's been kind of in and out. Um, it should get sunny later on, and I think it'll get up to about, um, it'll get up to about, like, uh, 73 degrees today or 23 degrees Celsius. Um, so it'll get sunny later on. But, yeah, quite windy out here. Um, so I know, like, the past few weeks, there has been a bunch of severe weather, uh, throughout, like, the Midwest, um, the Midwest, Southeast, uh, Mid-Atlantic, the Great Plains, um, a lot of, like, severe weather, tornadoes, big hail, too, and big wind risks, um, the past few weeks. I know also that there was, um, a heat wave, too, in, uh, the Northwest as well, like Seattle and Portland. I think... They got up to like 90 degrees at some points, um, which is like really hot, um, and that's in Fahrenheit. But that's like really hot though, um, and I'm hoping everyone's okay from that. Um, and, you know, hopefully everyone stayed cool. Because I know from what I've heard, I'm mean, in that part of the country, there's not, not a lot of people with air conditioning um, from what I've heard. So, yeah, I'm just hoping everyone's okay from that and, and you know... Everyone stay nice and cool. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to talk about um, some of the severe weather risks for the next few days. Um, so I got a piece of paper with me. That's why you keep on hearing the crinkling. <laughs> Especially here, like in the wind. Because I got some notes on it. So, yeah. Because again, I still am trying out some new things for the Stormscape. So right now I got like a piece of paper with me. It's kind of hard to do this in the wind. But, yeah, you know, it's just kind of blowing all over the place here. So basically, um, there, the severe weather risk for today, uh, the wind risk is 5%, hail risk is 15%, um, and there's no uh, tornado risk. Um, so, and that looks to me mainly like in western Montana, uh, central, northern, and western Idaho, eastern Washington, and, like, eastern Oregon. Um, and then two, tornado risk is, again, less than 2% in all areas. Um, so that's good, but if you do live in those areas, so... Northwest may well watch out. I mean, again, low risk for severe weather is generally lower today, but still do definitely keep your eyes out if you live in the areas that I just mentioned. Um, so severe weather risk for tomorrow is at 2% tornado risk, 5% wind risk, and 5% hail risk. So for the 2% tornado risk areas that will be, um, that, you know, have a, that are in that risk, um, and mainly, like, northern Texas and, like, western Oklahoma, um, and, like, southwestern Kansas, um, 5% wind risk is, uh, is, like, 5% wind risk is for, um, northern Montana, northern Texas, western Oklahoma, uh, yeah, western Oklahoma, um, Southwestern Kansas, northeastern New Mexico, southeastern Colorado, and northern Florida, and, like, the Florida Panhandle. Uh, 
southwestern Georgia and like southern Alabama. So eastern Alabama, like southeastern Alabama and southern Alabama. Um, so and and that's for like the five percent wind risk. Um, then the five percent hail risk is for northern Texas, western Oklahoma, and southwestern Kansas. And the severe weather risk for Tuesday. 5% severe weather risk overall because it is a few days out. Um, so it doesn't have any specifics on like tornado, wind, or hail because it's also off of no weather math from severeweatheroutlook.com, which I will put in the description um, in this video in the sources area. So if you want to learn more information, go check that out. Um, but the severe weather risk for Tuesday again, 5%. Uh, severe weather risk for northern Texas and southwest Oklahoma. So definitely keep your eyes out next few days, especially if you live in, uh, you know, Texas and uh, Oklahoma. Because I know, especially like in Dallas or like, uh, you know, Denver metro areas or like Houston, they've had, they, they've been having some pretty, or like Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, they've been having some pretty bad storms uh, past few weeks, um, like in Kansas too. In Nebraska, there's been some pretty bad storms. I know in Florida, too, there's been some pretty bad storms as well. So, again, it's probably always okay from that. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I've heard uh, also, like, I think, like, I think it's, I think, like, yesterday was also, like, the, the tenth, 10 year anniversary since. Um, big more Oklahoma EF5 tornado back in 2013. I think it was May 20th, 2013. I know Water Channel was talking about that the other day, and that caused a lot of damage. Um, and it was just so unfortunate. Um, I don't really have any specifics right now on like, I don't really have any specifics on uh, like how many fatalities there were, but I know it was really bad though. Um, and it was just so unfortunate. Um, I mean, again, be, be big EF5, and we haven't really had anything like that yet this year, but this year definitely has been a pretty big tornado year. Um, again, the, the biggest tornado we've had so far, at least from my knowledge this year, has been the EF4 in, um, we had in, uh, the EF4 tornado, uh, back in March in, uh, Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Um, yeah, Rolling Fork, Silver City, Mississippi. Um, and that was a really bad EF4. I know they're the bad, and that same supercell two hours later cra created also a really bad EF3 in Amory, Mississippi. Um, and again, this is back in March. Um, so yeah, and I know also back in March, too. Uh, I mean, I mean, that tornado was like was for the March 24th to the 27th outbreak, but also the outbreak of March 31st, April 1st. Um, there was also some really bad, I mean, there's some really bad tornado action and some really bad EF3s too. Like, you know, in Alabama, for example, um, like in Little Rock and North Little Rock, really bad EF3 there. And they actually had a tornado emergency, which I did talk about in episode 250. I think it was episode 255 of Stormscapes. Um, so, yeah, but I'm just hoping everyone's okay from that. And they're probably still recovering too. And I think also Winter Arkansas too, they got really, they got hit really bad there too, so... Again, I'm just, my goals do go out to everyone. I've been hit through, with all these bad storms throughout the years, and 2023 has definitely been a very, very tornadic year so far. Um, a lot of tornadoes, a lot of big hail and wind risks. Um, and I know it's May 21st today. Um, so, I mean, we have been going throughout uh, severe weather. I mean, honestly, you can get severe weather and tornadoes like any time of year. Honestly, it's just it's most common around this time of year because spring is typically severe weather season. Now, I know we are g coming upon the summer, but you still definitely do want to watch out. Cause, I mean, in the summer, there can be pre some pretty bad storms, too. So, just hoping everyone just stay safe out there from all the storms. So, yeah. So, we're going to go up on my deck now, and then we'll end off this lovely video. Again, I know I haven't been posting much on both of my channels like I've been like I mentioned before. Um 
I hope to post some more soon. Um, but again, I've been sick and just a bunch of stuff been going on in my personal life, like I've been mentioning. Um, but my school will be coming to an end soon within the next like month or so. Because it ends uh, June 16th, so. Yeah, and school will be starting to wind down soon. So, hoping over the summer I can be able to add some more things and get some more stuff posted. Um, but we'll just see what happens, though. So, yeah. We'll walk up on, walk to the front here, and then we'll end this off. So I hope that turn to turn this. So I hope that all of you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.